All right, welcome back to Let's Play Peachy. Once again, we have Jet, that one, and Vane, that one. Hello, YouTubes. All right, can y'all travel? Right here. Uh, yeah. You Are can. you? Oh, we're ready to go to Zephyr Rush now. Uh, yeah, that's my next quest, apparently. Excellent. Delicious. Off we go. Oh, cheesy animation! <laughs> <laughs> I like the style of the cut scenes in this game, to be honest. They kind of fit with the rest of the atmosphere. Okay, where are we going? I don't know, I'm still in a cutscene right now. Mm -hmm. So let's not talk over it. Okay, now it says he's in Zephyresh. There we go. I don't... Your fame has increased. Yay, I'm well known! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I have I have quest markers. Oh, it's uh, a deity! Best to go to those then. I really like the designs of the Guardians in this. Yes, the Alchemist has already come to the Although they do slightly remind me of, like, high-level Pokemon or something. <laughs> right? Legendaries, yeah. Yeah, like the giant monster ones that you sometimes see that you only really know are giant monster ones if you've watched any of the animated imagery or anything like that, because you can't tell in the actual game, to my experience. Not that I've played that many. It depends on the game. <laughs> okay. I only played the Game Boy ones, and in that, they all looked like the same size. <laughs> and the, the Game Boy was not forgiving. Yeah. Okay. We gotta go through here. Oh, I have a spare skill point. To the... the Ossean Wastes? Yep. Alrighty. What Meet about the sands? Well, this we'll is... be play seeing plenty of sand here. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting this load screen with a bunch of old dead trees with mouths and eyes, and I have yet to see any in this game. See, they want to keep you looking. They're trying to scare keep you. You're paranoid of all the trees and stuff, I guess. <laughs> trees will come alive. Like the um like the second movie of Lord of the Rings, third movie. Or the first Evil Dead movie. We don't talk about that. You don't want it. Yeah, we we we're not gonna talk about that on a public video. Yeah, because, we don't we don't know. talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you you trust us, you don't want to know Vane. I think I'll pass. Yes, you will pass. You guys are trustworthy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's explore. And more importantly, find things to make dead. See, I told you sand. Die, urns. I have no Are respect for anything? art. Ouch. Something that wants to die! I show my disrespect for art by smashing urns. <laughs> Ooh, money. Money. So important. And this is where we're going to start finding stuff that's a little more appropriate to our level, I think. So... Actually, Get out of here! Actually, closing in on our level, that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm only, uh, 11 levels below you. Indeed. We're 13 levels below Vane because she's been tagging along with you from the start of this, so she's actually gained a few levels while I haven't yet. <laughs> so much deathification over here! 
Oh hey, armadillo thingy, die. What would you find? What? 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 Oh, it's a creepy armadillo. Too late. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, zombie exploded. Around, probably. Promising fishing hole. Oh, poop. Ooh. Where are we fishing? Uh, I don't know, uh, but it's a fishing hole. Where the dead things are, the big piles of blood and green poisonous slime. What were you talking about? There ain't no poisonous slime. But you found a salamander. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? You caught a web fish! It's not what I wanted. Stop teasing me, fishing hole. You caught nothing! Oh, gauntlets. Well, don't get excited. Speaking I of ex nothing. Speaking of excited, I wish they would make for Skyrim a, uh, like a DBZ mod that would turn the entire world into the Dragon Ball franchise. That'd be beautiful. <laughs> Did you know there's a Minecraft one that does that? I have heard about it. I haven't looked at it yet. I've dabbled with it a little bit. It's called Dragon Block C. <laughs> it even adds Kami's lookout to whatever world you saw. Nice. Yeah, it's, it was pretty cool. Um, you have a whole leveling system added to it. You start out able to... Um, not do very much, just you can fly, and whenever you punch unarmed enemies, when you punch enemies with no weapon in your hand, I mean, it makes the, um, the, some of the classic Dragon Ball sounds from unarmed combat. Yeah. And I guess you can level it up to be stronger, because it's called a super punch, it actually consumes your key if you punch things unarmed. Nice. But my main thing to it is, um, if you fl if you manage to fly to the Kami's lookout, you can actually learn various energy attacks there. It was neat, and I actually had a texture pack that, while not specifically intended to use with it, really helped give it the kind of Dragon Ball aesthetic. But... I didn't mess with it a whole lot. Identify scrolls. If only I could find Very more nice. of those in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I did finally uninstall that mod that I had that made the shopkeeper's identification ability lore specific because there's making the game more challenging and then there's just making the game annoying. It was annoyingly easy. Uh, no, it was annoyingly hard because I had my inventory cluttered with a lot of blue items that I could not identify. Oh. Dang it! Wrong way! Because the mod that I was using, one of the mods, one of the many mods I was using, actually changed it so that storekeepers could only identify things that their lore stat would allow. And unfortunately, in early Baldur's Gate 1, most of the shopkeepers you find are poor, uneducated peasant merchants. <laughs> Yeah, you begin to see the problem. More bugs! Oh, uh, more dead bugs. What is shooting at me from behind? And dead Ezra here thingy. The Ezra here and Zephyrash people are kind of cool in this. They're, they're like living magical essence contained in robotic armor, basically. Which is why they pop like that when they die. Loot! Nice. Yeah, now it's actually worth it for me to pick up all the loot. Even the ones right. I can't use will sell for a decent price now. Time for a dog tag! My dog is still using a level 2 physical armor. <laughs> some of them, some pieces of equipment you can find in this will last for a long time. Ooh. K 
kill everything! Oh. Fucking a quarter quarter staff with three sockets on it. <laughs> oh! It's a cow fight queen! It's someone's it mother. Me, some of these holes in the walls spit out bones. That I would know. Ooh, bone golem. I think we do. Oh, that's you chumpy gall. I'm sorry, did you say something? I'm trying to think of another game that I've picked up that had uh, bone golems in it that were a lot more impressive than those. me. What am I doing? Whenever you see something that exploded like that, it caused a poison cloud that caused damage to other nearby enemies when they died. Ooh! Beast Chewer. At least that one makes a little bit more sense. Haha! <laughs> you will become more Desert skillful. And a Big potion. Oh, I can't use that. Yay, skill points. Strength, 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 strength. <laughs> Armor. Okay, I have some things you might want. Okay. Cause I'm a walking tank. And I have a spider now. Keep it away from Heidi. <laughs> Actually, I'm cool. I might accidentally swat at it. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to close it. I figured she gave me the fish to do it with. She must be prepared for the consequences. <laughs> okay. Who keeps messing with this? Hey, me this time. <laughs> Where there. was I planning to put my next skill point when I gain a Pet level? Pet stuff. Oh, that's a dog tag. Forty-eight ice armor. Okay, I just got this from the last fish pond, and it's probably going to be gruesome. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh oh. Gross. Your pet exploded into a completely non-deer-shaped skeleton. <laughs> that makes sense. That is creepy as hell. Oh, boom! Headshot. <laughs> I cannot get up there. There's a guy. Welcome, my friend. I got my headphones. Yeah, nothing useful. My, my Turtle Beach headphones. When he talks, it's like, "Hello, my friend," and like my headphones like shake. It's got some, <laughs> <laughs> it's got some bass. Uh oh. Yeah, it's magical desert robot people. So wait, are these That's machines? Pretty beefy sounding voices. These count as machines? No, they're because they're like magical essence inside of robotic looking armor. They're not actually machines, I don't think. But they, their pyramids and dungeons and temple type things have tend to have mechanical guardians. Oh! No, there's this. Crack! 
I died. What? Yeah, somehow. I don't know how. I died. Bone Golem killed him. Yeah. Where? According to the chat log. I don't know why I died. I don't even know how I died. But I did. You forgot this guy back over here. You gonna be able to make it back to it, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I wasn't watching my health right. bar. Ah. That's the problem. And weren't close enough to her heal bot. You get dependent on that heal bot after a while. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, the other option is to give your pet heal all three. Yeah, or that you both can become well and truly immortal. Oh, dead things. He must have gone this way. He's this way. <laughs> dead things. He must have gone this way. Mysterious <laughs> shrine. You know, I've learned to be cautious of these Up when playing the Skyrim. Say what Don't now? give me oh, cardinal directions, it's not helpful. Well, when oh, I just. when I play Skyrim, I learn to be cautious of these. See? <laughs> this is a good one, though. Let's give us a purple thing to kill to get loot from. What the heck is that? It's a golden crab! With a crown. And lots of money. <laughs> a lot lucky coin. Let's go fishing. Oh, fishing hole. Better check good the area eyes. first. Uh, good, you good got idea. a jackal base bass something. Base. Base. <laughs> you know, that always right. like threw me off when I was growing up watching the um and playing the Mega Man series, they had mm -hmm. bass. Oh yeah. I'm like, it's bass it's bass. <laughs> it's bass. Especially since he was named after a musical term. The funny thing is, what really confuses me is their names were changed from one musical term in Japanese to another one in English. Like it, bass was originally called Forte. And his dog, Treble, was originally called Gospel, which is a type of music. Yeah. So why hmm. did they... I can kind of understand why they might have changed Gospel, just because Nintendo was allergic to any kind of religious reference in any of their games for a while. But why change Forte to Bass? So that way you can go, Drop the Bass! <laughs> Ooh, a frenzy fish. Now that's a good one. I got a crab egg. If you ever get a frenzy fish, those are amazing. Do you know why they're amazing? Because it turns your character into a frenzy fish? Well, no. No, it gives your pet 33%. Uh, no, I don't think he got one. It I'll gives your that. pet 33% faster movement speed and attack speed. Where'd you go? I think we need to go this way. Down. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Oh! It won't... Okay, there we go. I wasn't dealing any damage. You guys walk over and kill it. You're welcome. Because it had a shield. I don't okay, like shields. I don't like shields. Yeah, these, what about all these armadillo shields? things have a shield on. They'll block attacks until you deal enough damage to break the shield. Or certain classes, like the engineer, have abilities that will break shields in one shot. And I think my pet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh oh, careful! I'll look it up. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's trying to kill me. Oh, it killed me. Oh my. Momo was killed it's by dead. Bane. <laughs> what? Wait, what? It says in the chat log. Look at the chat log. Momo was killed, Bone Golem. The second time, Momo was killed, Vane. Heidi. <laughs> I that didn't. That was hilarious. Because you summoned the monster, I think. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, that one doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> that kill doesn't count. No, it doesn't! Friendly fire is off! 
Oh, you think that's you think that's bad for friendly fire? Don't ever play Magicka. <laughs> no, I saw what you did when you played Magicka. No way. Yeah, yeah, good times. Yeah, for Magicka. Imagine a game like this, but with absolutely no distinction between whether your attacks hit friend or foe. Oh, I play games like that. Friendly fire is well in effect. You can instantly revive each other for free if you kill each other, as long as you all survive long enough. Make the right combination. No limit on magic, no mana bars or anything like that, just different combination of elements that produce different effects. In fact, you know what? We should just show you our Let's Play of that somewhere. You should take a look at our Let's Play of it at some point. Ah, oh, my pack is full. Did your timer go off a few minutes ago, by the way? Yeah, it did. I thought I heard it. It did. Ah, that's so a good point. Why don't, why don't we send our pets to town and do some inventory management off screen? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. All right, so you guys heard it. We'll go ahead and go and do that. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't die, and if you do, revive like I do.